Hello YouTube, uh, good day and welcome back again to my channel. Uh, now I would like to teach some technique using Weka how to get greater than 90% uh, accuracy in classification. I have already a uh, data set. Uh, I have two categories of samples. First category, uh, the samples that I have the uh, samples of cacao. It is categorized as Trinitario cacao and uh, Forester cacao. Now, uh, we would like to find greater than 90% accuracy of classification. Uh, using this application Weka. First, if we already have a data which had a format of uh, Excel, we need to convert that one to e EBS, ESV rather. And then after converting SV, You'll convert again here in Wicca, here in Tools and Art, AR, FF Viewer. After converting that, save that file to a folder you want to save. You want to save it. And then now let's proceed to Explorer, enter this one. And then open file. Tapin mo yung file mo kung saan mo nilagay yung naka AR FF file na data set. Sa akin dito sa BSD Research. Here, Kakao data set. AR FF. AR FF. Now, after opening this one. Yan. We will go and check this all here. Sample, area, perimeter. Now, to be able to classify it right, we need to select attribute. Yes, why we need to select attribute and use full training set? Because I already uh, changed the original data from more than 300 samples every category I set uh, every category to a decrease to 150 per sample okay after doing that we don't need anymore to uh, choose how many folds we would like or we must have we need to we just simply need to select this start here and just full training set to be able to see the selected attributes the the, the ones who need to be prioritized yes here area w your max is h and n after we have already see what are the priorities needed to uh, selected attribute that's back to pre process. Yes, we are pre processing this one and select those attributes that we had in area, area, W and bar, W bar, after max, max, big letter M, max. After that, H, H, and N. Find N. Okay, here. After selecting, deselecting the, the said attributes, we will go now to classify. As you can see, the cross validation folds are select, is selected. We will select now as use training set. Why? 
as I said, uh, I have already changed the data from original 300 samples, more than 300 samples in every category. Now I've set that to 150. Okay. Now we will like use this as a training set and choose here to be able to find out where is the greater than 90% uh, accuracy. Let us start. Wow. As we can see, uh, selecting these rules, the decision table, we get 80%. Let's try another. This one, gear rip. 88%, not bad. Such a good classifier, huh? Let's find out more. 1R. 75%. Yeah, correct classified instances now let's go dive another um, part June we have seen this sample 94.67% it is greater than 90% accuracy, accuracy for the classified okay now sometimes uh pwedeng magka tay ang ibang classifier dito uh, pwede silang mag parehas 94.6 something percent the tiebreaker here is the time taken test the model yan, yan yung magiging tiebreaker ito ok, let's find another sample let's try another classifier be able to find out if May mas mataas pa ba sa 94%? Zero R? No, 2%. Decision sum. Decision sum. 72%. Next, 75%. K48. Wow very high percentage of accuracy 97.6 okay this is one that is good classifier the good classifier 97.30 although we can test more but you the viewer researchers they can time to do this kind of research to be able to know and to classify some data. Uh, this classifier is the J48, the good classifier since we got 97.5%. Okay. And uh, this videos end here. Thank you for watching. God bless and more power.